All right, I'm here with Troy Tarpley, uh, uh, two-time champion, if I take it? 2005, 2007. Yeah, actually, 2007 uh, was a, a tie for first. That's right, and then last year you were a judge, right? Last year I wasn't a judge, but I did help Terry run the Dent Olympics. And as far as scheduling and letting guys, you know, watching the time and that sort of thing, but I wasn't a judge. Right, well, uh, you're a pretty humble guy. I mean, I, I, I talk to you a lot, and, um, you know, what do you think about the, the PDR competition as a whole? I mean, uh, it's how, so much fun. You... There's a lot of guys that are great technicians that actually don't want to compete. They're just they don't have a competitive bone in their body. It's just uh, they don't operate well under pressure. But there's no doubt that some of the guys could glass these dents back home and do on a regular basis. But some of them just, you know, but for those of us that like friendly competition, it's it's a lot of fun. And it gives you a chance to see some of the technicians from other countries, from other parts of the states, their techniques, their tools, their style. It's a, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Well, you since you're such a veteran tech addict and uh, you've been doing this for numerous years, can you explain the rules and about how much it costs to get in this? Yeah, I... I'm not sure about the cost this year. I think it's $75. We paid a few weeks ago, and I don't handle it. So, uh, But I think it's $75, and it's maxed at two dents this year. They just were trying to keep people from technicians from buying five and six dents and uh, keeping it going longer. Exactly, longer dra dragging it out. So two dents is the max, I believe. Um, once you purchase your dents, you get to reach in a box and pull a number. That number is corresponds with one of the dents on one of the cars. So you find your dent. Once you're ready to actually repair your dent, you've got 45 minutes to do the best job that you can do. Some guys take 10 minutes. Some guys take the entire 45. I've done it every year except last year since 2005. There's been three times that I used the entire 45 minutes and then there's been times where I used just uh, 20 or 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's up to the individual tech. And you know, it's, uh, as I explained last year on the video, it's not nearly as easy as it, as it appears. Uh, I've done it um, two years ago or three years ago and you know what, it, and you kind of summed it up. It, it's, it depends on how good you are under pressure. Um, finishing and um, tell me a little bit more. I mean, in the reality world, I mean, you could, a customer doesn't know the difference between 95% and 100%. I mean, can you give me? A, can you elaborate on that? Yeah, uh, here you, you. Most of the technicians here can do these these dents back home, and they can get them 80, 85%, which oftentimes passes for anybody, even retail, you know, a 90-95% repair is going to be acceptable. For the dealers, they may accept a little less, but at the Dent Olympics, 90-95% doesn't cut it because the judges are moving these reflection boards back 15, 20 feet. They're using larger reflection boards. You've got five, six, seven judges. Some of the judges are tool manufacturer owners, some of them are instructors from around the world, some of them are just veterans of the industry. Uh, Terry Siegel, who runs the Dent Olympics, is an, an author, a trainer, you know, he's, um, these are some of the best people in the world within this industry judging these dents. And when you get to 90, 95 percent, uh, there's so many that are that close that they have to actually judge it to 97, 98 percent, and they're looking for the slightest imperfection. And so you have to bring your A game at the Dent Olympics, and sometimes, like you were saying, operating under pressure when you've got guys from China or Tokyo and Ireland and all over the world, you don't know who they are, you don't know how good they are, and they're hovering over your shoulder. Um, you just feel your heart rate increase, the, your body temperature you know, increases, you start sweating in places that you don't normally sweat when you're working a dent. So. That, that is true. I mean, take it from me. But I, now you're in it this year, aren't you? Yeah, I came back um, seeing if I could do it a third time. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to catch a plane. I'm not going to be able to stick around Look to find this out. this guy. He's going to come and try to do his dent and then leave and then win. You're right, right, right. Bust out of here and uh, and get my trophy mailed to Yeah, yeah, so. exactly. Well, Troy, you know what? Thanks a lot for taking the time and explaining this. Yeah, and, no problem. Um, and no uh, we'll problem. see you, and hopefully we'll we'll look at, we'll hear the results, right? Yeah, hopefully you'll hear Dent Tricks of Macon, Georgia. Uh, we've got three guys with us uh, competing. Um, one of them, it's his first time. My brother, Ryan, it's his third time. He actually placed second last year in between uh, two Russians. A Russian took first, a Russian took second. Mike was the break, the tie-breaking uh, 
it was vote in that. I had to guess. I honestly had to guess. It was that close. So it was but, close, and you don't know who does what dance. So yeah. it is a you know they keep it as fair as possible. But the, the Olympics brings out the best in the world in the PDR industry, and it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Great. And what's your website? Denttricks.com, okay. uh, uh, and we're on Facebook too, so yeah. Gotcha. Well, you guys, I appreciate you guys watching this. Um, if you get a chance and you're a PDR technician and wanting to come to the Mobile Tech Expo next year, I encourage you to do it. Get in this Dent Olympics, or just come and have fun and meet people and network. So If you haven't been to the Mobile Tech Expo ever, I, I, you need to come. It's highly, highly recommended. Even, if, even for guys that have been year after year after year, you, well, you come and you learn new stuff. You see new tools. Um, I've seen some stuff here this year that has blown my mind. Yeah. Um, we've already gone over budget as far as what we were supposed to spend money on. But uh, <laughs> the seminars, the classes, the networking, um, definitely come to the next Mobile Tech Expo. Well, perfect, Troy. Thanks a lot again. Thanks, Mike. Okay, Take All care. Right. Bye-bye.